So, this is the demon slayer that you bring to me at this night. And they're the one with the demon slayer mark, as you said. Hmm. Well, in my opinion, they don't look very strong. However, I cannot judge a book by its cover, yet so soon. You, speak your name. I see. Well, you do not know who I am, and you frankly don't need to know. I am only here to spread a message to you. Do not get in my way. I will rule this world with my accompanying people that I have gained myself with. I have gained trust with them. And I think they are worthy of becoming a demon themselves. Of course I'm a demon. And do not speak out of line. I am not here to play these childish games with you. I am here on an important mission. To find out who you really are. You have a sibling. Isn't that correct? Speak when you're spoken to. Good. Now. Either you can tell me where your other sibling is. Or I can kill you in the most gruesome way I know possible. But luckily, I can show you what that gruesomeness really is. Bring in the volunteer. As you see next to you, this is also a demon. They are hungry for human flesh and blood. But they have done something unorthodox and also betraying my trust to them. And so, I will give them my blood, but at a rapid pace. Even a demon's body cannot handle that much of a transformation in such a short time. Their body will decompose as it is right now. They cannot handle this much blood I give them. Therefore, they turn into a fleshy pulp. Do you see what will happen to you? If you speak again out of line. Good. But anyway. The reason why I had you here. Is to tell you to stay out of my way. But also. To tell you. That that explosion. Over at the US continent was not a mere accident. You see, with the subordinates I have collected, they were all worthy of getting a decent amount of my blood. 
they themselves are now demons of a high ranking. With their powers combined with my blood, they seem unstoppable to none humans, and even so humans with powers such as theirs. They seem like immortals compared to them. My plan is to destroy this whole world and bring it back to where it was, where demons and ghouls and all sorts of monsters ruled their lands without a pesk to be in our way. And that pesk is you, the humankind. I will extinct every single one of you disgusting maggots. Even if I have to do it with my own hands. But having a helping hand does help quite a lot. Especially with the people I have gotten in contact with. And I think your younger sibling has met one of them as of recent. Have you heard of the name Shigaraki? Yes, he is a villain up in northern Japan. But I've gotten into contact with him. And he seems very, very compatible with my blood. And so I gave him a portion of my blood. And the transformation was successful. He is now a full demon with its powers. And also his powers combined. He's a very powerful demon. He could do a lot of my bidding. But the one thing that that other person does not have is power. With the first person I made contact with in this new world, their powers were super extraordinary that I gave them a very strong amount of my blood. And the only way they could have survived that is because they transformed and they left the USA nothing but scrambles. Shambles. Nothing but a dried up land. And his transformation was grand. He is a very, very intimidating demon. Not only the fact that he is also quite the specimen, he is also used to be a human with this wild transformation of his. I was even told that he could time travel. <laughs> well, with my new power, I could erase humans entirely, starting with the first human ever, if I really wanted to. But I didn't get not. What did I say about interrupting me? I think you do not know what I could do to you right now. So I advise you to stay quiet while I talk to you. <clears throat> What I was saying was, I did not give him the proper amount of blood to use that time travel ability he has. The only thing he can do with his new demon power is to become that giant creature of his and destroy everything in his way. I feel like he could be an upper rank if I gave him the chance. But... With my new subordinate, Shigaraki, he also has a high chance of becoming an upperclassman in demons. Hell, I might talk to him later about that, about upgrading his power by giving him more of my blood. I'm not sure if he will survive or not, but it's a chance I'm willing to take.
and before I set you go, I want you to remember my name, for it will be the last thing you ever hear. My name is Muzon. <laughs>